There are a lot of ways to face a haka, and Jillaroo's prop Kennedy Charrington knew that better than most as she wiped the tears from her eyes and stared New Zealand down. The star Parramatta forward is equally proud of her Australian and Maori backgrounds, so much so she sang and wept during both anthems when Australia met New Zealand in the group stages of the Rugby League World Cup last week. Charrington might have chosen the green and gold jersey over the black and white, but that does not change the way she feels about her Maori heritage. With a foot on both sides of the World Cup final, Charrington is proof that no person is ever any one thing and, as the two sides prepare to face each other at Old Trafford, she is prepared to wear her heart and her cultures on her sleeve once more. It was really emotional, especially facing the Haka. Shannon, Mato, and I stood side by side and made sure we had each other, being the only two Maori in the team, Charrington said. We sung both anthems and it was emotional for both of them, we're part of both countries and it's hard to stay on one side. When it comes to the anthem and the haka, that's our culture too and we're very proud that our allegiance lies with Australia. It was very emotional and I am sure it'll be the same during the final. I am just so honoured to be a part of this campaign. As a two-time Maori All-Stars representative, Charrington took the initiative in the lead-up to the first match against New Zealand and urged her teammates not to back down when faced with the Kiwi Ferns haka in order to set the tone for the game to come, which the Jillaroos won 10-8. The bustling forward will take a similar attitude into the rematch as Australia look to claim a third successive World Cup. I told my girls to stare someone down because when you do the haka you stare someone out, but I said stuff that, stare someone down and know you're going to be the better person on the field than your opposite number, so take that personal, cheering to.